Have you ever heard the saying that your actions are speaking so loud that I can't hear what you're saying? And when I look at my past relationships in high school, I looked at how bad they were and how much I put up with. And I was so alone and I was clinging on to anything that I could just so I could have that date on a Friday night and just having that person next to me. And if any of this applies to your relationship or this rings true for you, I came up with, a, with what I like to call a dump him list. And if I'm reading this and this sounds like the person that you're with, it just might be time to say goodbye. You have to tell him more than once to stop. You feel the need to fix him. He looks at pornography. He hits you, pushes you, or does anything to frighten you. He gets drunk or takes drugs. He doesn't care if you lie to your family. He leads you away from God. He puts you down and acts like he's kidding. He cheats on you. He lies to you. He flirts with other girls. He uses guilt to get you to do what he wants. He always resents the time that you spend with your friends and family. Is he accountable for his actions or does he blow it off and even turn it around on you? Is the relationship holding you back from the person that you know you need to become and is it dictating who you are? He behaves badly and blames it on other people or things that happen to him. He can't stand on his own two feet without you and you can't stand on your own two feet and remain pure with him. You shouldn't look at a relationship and hoping he's gonna have potential to be what you want him to be one day. Either he is or he isn't. And don't lie to yourself, hoping he's gonna become this, this perfect person for you because there's no such thing. And there was a mother that came up to me after one of our presentations and she said, please tell the young women about me that you were reading that list and my husband had every single one of them. And I thought our love was bigger. I thought our love was stronger. I thought that he would love me and want to change. And it got worse. And we have three children now and I'm getting a divorce and we're in the middle of an element. It's horrible. So tell them if they see those red flags in their relationships to run in the opposite direction. And if you know you need to break up with somebody, I would suggest get a breakup buddy. Get that person, that friend, that girlfriend that you can call, that you can text. Instead of texting him, instead of calling him, instead of stalking him on Facebook, have this girlfriend that you can call in those times of weaknesses so that you truly can step back away from this relationship. Because I lost so many wonderful relationships because of a bad relationship. And they kept warning me and telling me, you have to get away from this guy and I would never listen. And ultimately, your friends care about you. They want what's best for you. And I know they will help you if you ask them. And God wants what's best for you, but first, you have to want what's best for yourself. And he's given us this God-given intuition to know when something's wrong, to know when something's off. And if you know the relationship you're in, isn't right, something's off, you're not getting treated well, you have to lower your standards and your dignity just to be with this person, it's not worth it. So don't be afraid to step back, have the courage and do what's best for you. And if you pray for that courage, you pray for that help, God will get you out of any situation. Know my prayers are with you, God bless.